All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasam, Yahweh Shah, Bahasam, and I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And the sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing game, pushing his work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, want to go in on this video that the Lord got the elect on the greatest trust fund ever. Okay, um, you know, we talk about spiritual bank account, okay, the riches, um, everything that comes along with this truth, man, what we do, okay, um, you know, being rich beyond number because you earned it, okay, well, it's really because the Lord chose you to earn this, okay, the honor that comes along with being a man or woman of the Lord, um, uh, you know, living forever, okay, uh, health, new body, okay, um, this is the greatest, uh, thing to ever happen, okay, uh, greater, bigger than, uh, hitting the lottery, okay, way bigger, <laughs> okay, uh, ain't no taxes gonna be coming out your, your, uh, your money when you get it, okay, to be joint heirs um, with Yahweh Shah, okay? And, um, you know, that goes into, um, you know, the, the the whole entire world, okay? And that those riches, man, are going to be, you know, a forever thing, okay? Uh, not, you know, living forever, okay? Hey, you, got, you got wives. They gonna they gonna be able to uh, enjoy it, you know. Ain't gonna be no, uh, you know, divorce and take you know half your money, you know, alimony. Ain't gonna be no, none of that. Ain't gonna be no breaking up breakups in the kingdom. Okay. Um, what is it? The the the, the children. <laughs> your children get old. They gonna have you know uh, money as well. No, an inheritance is something that when somebody passes away, they. You know, the 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 child or the person that um, is next in line, okay. Normally, it's the first uh, born son, okay, <clears throat> that inherits it, okay. But this this um, right here that we are a part of, man. You know, all of all of the children would be a part of this. You know, this extreme, extremely beyond. Uh, you know, any words that I could put it in, uh, blessing, okay, that comes along with being in this faith, man, okay, all the all of the children will be good. Hey, our family members that pass away will be good, okay. Our loved ones, that's the good news, okay, because they're gonna come back as our children, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So, I looked up the, what is a trust fund, okay, and bear with me, because I'm going to get some scriptures, okay, but, you know, just going to extrapolate some words from out of it, okay, but I'm going to read, it says, the trust fund is a legal uh, entity that holds and manages uh, assets for the benefit of another person or entity, okay, trust funds are often used for estate planning, and can help with asset protection, right? Uh, tax planning, charitable giving, and special needs planning, right? It says, how do they work? A trust fund separates the legal ownership of assets from the beneficial um, ownership, right? Because right now, we can't really touch these riches, uh, you know? And if we did try to touch, the, touch them, you know, first off, it's beyond anything that we could put any type of dent in or damage to, okay, as far as the money, you know, going broke or whatever from that money, okay? Um, but the Lord, you know, gives us, you know, spiritual benefits, man, and, and spiritual riches and blessings that we deal with, you know, on this side to get us by, Okay? We got to understand that the riches and all that stuff, even though that they will be carnal riches, okay? And it's a spiritual bank account right now, 
okay? It will be carnal, right? But the, the, the benefits that we have right now are spiritual, and we are able to, you know, by calling on the name of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, if it's in his will, right, then the Lord will, will uh, you know, make sure that we take care of, okay? Daily bread. So... That's one of the things, you know, to keep in mind that, you know, we got the name of the Lord. Oh, another thing is, you know, uh, the chariots. OK, uh, I, I've been making re recent um, um, saying about that, that if Esau could get his hand on one of those chariots, <laughs> you know, man, how much do you think that they would try to sell that for? OK. All the technology and everything that goes into that, right? Which that's a that's a <laughs> a lot of money right there. Okay, a lot of you know that that that's costly right there. But you know if you have the elect, yeah, get that. Okay. Uh, it says uh, the grantor creates the trust fund and sets the terms for how the assets are to be held, gathered, and distributed. Okay, and Yahweh Basim Yahushai is the grantor. Okay, and the terms and conditions when the Lord returns. Okay, <laughs> is it come, my children, inherit the kingdom? Right. You you don't know whether you are the elect or not until you know we you know get beamed up out of here. Okay, so you see Yahushai in the flesh. When he comes back, when he returns, the one with the world inwardly called Jesus. Okay? That's when those those uh you know that that new covenant when that happens, okay, that new new contract, okay. Literally we signing away our life right now, okay, but we you know, we ain't gonna never go go off again. Okay? And that that's because the Lord trusted you to be able to handle that. Okay? We we try to earn our trust right now. And, you know, if you've been faithful in the least, you'll be faithful in the greatest. Okay? Uh, it says the trustee manages the assets and carries out the grantor's instructions. Right? So we got we got these instructions, right, that are given to us through the scriptures. Of how we supposed to deal with, you know, how what type of work we supposed to put in for this, what type of, you know, uh, mindset that we have to go through in order to get through the things that we go, you know, go through in this, okay? We try to put, we got to put on, put on um, our people, right? We gotta, we gotta go out, we gotta reach the elect, right? Whether they hear or forbear, okay? Um. Cause they, they they ain't gonna be able to say that they never heard it, okay? And when it's all you know said and done, and they see um, it on the flip side, you know the the, the the kingdom and everything that the Lord was trying to do, <laughs> that the honor that comes along with that man is, you know, uh, in there they gonna, they ain't gonna have no choice but to, to to be you know give honor onto the the uh, elect man. Okay, the Lord gonna put the spirit on them. We we're the witnesses of, of seeing this stuff, man. Okay, Lord, when I'm a part of the elect. Okay, it says the beneficiaries receive the assets or other benefits from the fund, right? And we receive benefits because what we got the by from Yosah, okay, is our you know our grantor, okay, the one who gives us you know all these things freely. Okay, and we were free. We'll freely have the kingdom, be able to go to other countries or whatever freely. Okay, you know, have a vacation or just enjoy life, man. <laughs> you know, that we can't do right now. Okay, um, let me just read a little bit more. It says there are different types of trust, including t testimony, testamentary trust, living trust. Revocable trust, which the Lord can take it all away. Irrevocable trust, right? Which, hey, uh, if you are an Isra Israelite, man, that's a calling that is um, without repentance, as the Lord say. Okay? 
you want to get it on a first first try, right? Because the Lord can take away, uh, he can take away, uh, it, you know, you don't know whether or not you are the elect, right? He can take that all away. So you got to make your calling an election sure, right? And you want to, you want to get on the first try, right? But if you are an Israelite, you're going to be there. But you don't want to have that mindset that, oh man, I'm just an Israelite, so I'm going to be there anyway. You know, you want to, you want to, you want to do the right thing. Okay. And Lord willing, you, once you, you know, if you, you pray for the Lord to continue to put that spirit on you, right? Don't take his Holy Spirit away from you. Then you'll, you'll receive the benefits, the rewards that come along with being in his faith, man. Okay. On this side. You know, because a lot of people are looking for that. Oh, we're going to get women. We're going to have money. We're going to have servants in the kingdom. They looking for those things. But what about right now? What about what are you doing? What are you doing right now? Okay. It says, um, uh, trust funds can offer more control in specific, specific city than a will. Okay. And it's not a will. Somebody died. Uh, this is what I want to happen. No, this is a trust fund. Okay. It's more specific. It's more control. Okay. It says they also protect assets from legal action and provide tax benefits. Trust funds can be more complex and may require the help of an attorney to set up with our side as our attorney. Okay. However, there are, uh, that's pretty much it. Okay. But, you know, Lord willing, got the point, man. Let me get a couple of scriptures. This is uh, Revelation 2 and 9. It says, I know thy works, right? And tribulation, right? And poverty, right? We suffering in this world right now. You look at how Esau, the top wicked elite, okay? The Edomites, period, okay? The... the the wicked are prospering in this world, man. Right? They got the livestock, right? The markets. <clears throat> They're making a killing, literally. <laughs> you know? They're making a, 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 a massive killing, man, of, of, you know, getting over on, on you know, on us, man. That, that uh, those markets, man, you know, the amount of, of, money it costs just to get like five pounds or something you know compared to if you uh had the real thing you know you if you had the real thing you have more in abundance you know if you was able to control it okay whether it's fruit or you know whatever but they they charging us you know things by the pound but you know if you was able to go get your own fresh water or have your own fresh water without having to pay for it, right? It'd be a different thing. It says, I know that and works and tribulation and poverty, right? We we the poor of this world right now. If we was in other countries with the money that we have right now in America, depending on where you at, okay, you would be rich in other countries, okay? But we poor right now in this society, right? Because that's just the way how things are. But it says, but thou art rich, right? We poor in this society, but we, we would be rich in other countries. Hey, we would be rich in our own country. We, we would be poor right now if we was in our, our land, right? Because we don't got no livestock. We don't got the gold, the, none of that stuff, you know? And and this, this, before this society go, it's going, you know, it's going to go back to a bartering system. It's going to go back to, you know, to, to a low level of how things used to be, okay? Selling stuff for gold, silver, okay? Trading, okay? It's going to go back to that, okay? And in the kingdom, we're going, we're going to be bartering and trading. But right now, we don't got that, you know, to, to a um, high degree as a collective, okay? It says, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, right but are not but are the synagogue of satan and that's these false people who claim to be israelites 
claiming to be the ones who worship the Lord, right? Now you got these people in the, in the land right now, small hatters. They're not the real, uh, the real people, okay? But you know, the real, the real, uh, the elect, the Israel of Israel, are going to uh, get these the, the benefits, man. Of you know, you know what it means to to be a man of the Lord or son of God. Okay, so let's see. We go back to that Revelation two or nine. Right, see what the pre precepts say. Luke twelve and twenty one. So is he that lays up treasure for himself, because a lot of people want their treasures right now. Right, and it's not rich towards God. Right, you can't pay the Lord to get up on those chariots. And they don't. And ain't no. That's that's that that's priceless. Okay. The things that the Lord is gonna give to, you know, though the 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 first ones to to inherit it, the the Israelites, right, the elect. Uh. Are priceless. Okay, you gonna freely give those things onto uh, us. Okay, and that's one of the reasons why too uh, this knowledge that we have was freely given to us. We don't go out and go charge for it. They go make money off of it. You know, the money is gonna come. Okay, <laughs> the money is gonna come. That's why you know a lot of these people who the uh, sold out and all that stuff to try to, you know, not teach the name of the Lord and all that stuff. But you claiming to be uh, a teacher or you know uh, Israelite and all that stuff. You want your money right now. You're not rich towards y'all by some outside. Okay. It's uh Second Corinthians six and ten. It says as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. As poor. Yet making many rich. We, we try to put our people on. Okay? With the knowledge of how we get through these times that we are in today. And what, what, what's the, the end game? Okay? Beating this, this life. Okay? On the hardest difficulty, man. And coming out as a legend. Being a conqueror. A conqueror, when you conquer something, you got to have somebody... You want to conk, you want to enjoy it with with other people you conquer it with. Okay, the saints are going to take the kingdom. So with with conquering, you got you're going to have the spoils that come along with it. Okay, these other nations are going to give us their spoils. Okay, spoils of war. Okay, it says making many rich we got if if jake knew the the magnitude of what we what we are a part of man they would they would be more than willing to get 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 down with the program but they don't understand they can't perceive what we saying because they don't they don't got the ears to hear right the eyes to see okay but we try to put you on man this <laughs> ain't no being selfish with it okay we try to put you on it says, uh, as having nothing, right, which we literally don't have nothing, even if you think that you have a house or whatever. It says, and yet possessing all things. Okay? The world, we're going to possess the world. Now, we know that this society is certain that we can, we brought nothing into this world, we can take nothing out of it. Okay? We, we will have the whole world, man. <laughs> and won't have to pay no bills. Okay? We will not have to pay no bills for for what we, you know, what we have. You know, we ain't going to have to, it ain't going to come with no barcodes and, you know, uh, wickedness that come along with it. Okay? Talking about pure heaven on earth, man. 
kingdom of heaven will be on earth. Okay. Uh. So that's pretty much it, man. Uh. I'm gonna get this James two and five. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which He has promised to them that love Him? So you gotta show that you love the Lord, man. And that means getting through whatever it is that we got to go through in this society. Loving the Lord, okay, through the ups and downs, okay, sickness, health, to death do you part, okay? Because that's the, that's the husband, man, okay? He's going to come back and he's going to, you know, he's going to protect his people, he's going to save his people, Okay? And that's what we a part of, man. You know, but Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay? Want to say a solemn one till next time.